Today's episode features guests who make a living infusing more fun and games into people's lives. Dan Zielinski is the owner of San Francisco's Musée Mécanique, one of the world's largest collection of coin-operated antique arcade machines. Instead of simply letting people look at the antiques, he lets people play with them. The way I got into this business is I, it was, I grew up with this equipment in my house as a child. Uh, my dad started collecting you know, before I was born, so this, I grew up with this as pretty much second nature as far as I'm concerned. Um, when my dad opened uh, his first location in Tiburon back in their mid-60s, I started working there. We're open every day of the year. Admission is free every day of the year. Um, the machines are all coin operated, but you can play what you want and ignore the rest. Um, it's, it's fun for all ages, regardless if you're two years old in the arms of your parents having your pictures taken in the photo booth or enjoy playing a good game of pinball. It's, it's all here. Michael McGinnis' childhood fascination with mazes evolved into inventing a new type of toy, a 3D maze game. Since then, he's won awards and passionate fans worldwide. I was a junior in high school, I took an art class, who, and the teacher gave us a problem, which was to design a board game. And I really was bad at playing board games. My sisters and brothers would beat me all the time. And so I thought, well, I love mazes, but I've got to think of some kind of thing which would be a game related to that. And I drew this box. And it was a, a you know very poorly drawn box, very poorly drawn idea. And it was, though, the precursor to this idea of making a, a, a three-dimensional maze. Here is the finished version of Superplexus. It has uh, numbers 1 through 100. My intention was to have the numbers marked with color. One thing I know is that people love to play with Superplexus. Everywhere I go, I, I show these things and I'm mobbed by people wanting to play. There's never been an issue in my mind that it would be successful. 